Christian people, we are the ones, we should set the bar, show the rest of the world how to laugh and have a good time. Don't you agree with that? Because everything that happens to us in the scope of eternity is a joke anyway, you know? When we get to heaven, none of this stuff is going to matter. Stuff we get worried about. If you're a doctor down here on earth, there's no sickness, there's no disease in heaven. So, (laughs) if you're a lawyer down here on earth, you probably won't get to heaven. It's too early to start judging. You know, God made funny stuff everywhere. He built it into creation. Are we supposed to laugh? Yes. He made things to laugh at everywhere. He made West Virginia. Come on, those people are not here. I was driving in West Virginia recently. There was a sign next to the road. Right next to the road had a picture of a cell phone on it with a red circle around it and a line through it. And it said, report distracted drivers. Underneath that, there was a telephone number. You've got to come and get this guy. He's talking on his cell phone. There's two of us. I get this question. You ever, have you ever... Uh, done this on a Sunday morning, you don't have time for church, or you don't have time for, uh, for church, you don't have time for other stuff to do, you don't have time for, for breakfast, and you're on your way out to church, dash out the door, um, settle down in your seat, it's dead quiet in the room, minister gets up to preach, and you're going, I think that's the Holy Spirit moving. Have you ever done this any other place where you have to be quiet? Or maybe at church or during a test in the classroom. You ever choke on your own spit? <laughs> oh, come up. I think they had a bone in it. Farts are funny. I know, in every group, somebody goes, no, they're not. And with all due respect, you are wrong. They're proof that God has a sense of humor. They're divinely funny. They're like the perfect universal punchline. They require no setup. You don't have to speak the language. And no matter how many times you've heard it before, you will still laugh. Right? I picture God up in heaven after he made man. He's pretty proud of himself. He brings the angels over. Hey, come here. Look at this. I made this. It's man. (laughs) Now, the way I designed his digestive system to work, it builds up gas. It has to come out. Rather than have it be released through his pores like I did with the plants, check this out. Lord, (laughs) what's that smell? I know, I thought that up too. That is so deaf people can appreciate them. I mean, Jesus went around with 12 fishermen, fishermen, ladies and gentlemen. You think they were sitting around campfires? Oh, excuse me. No, James and John were called the sons of thunder. (laughs) 